Mm-hmm. I'm tired. So why not take a chance at this? It's your girl's beauty and today is a special day so today we have something exciting planned i know what is it what is it today we're making soap <laughs> i have been loving making soap lately oh my gosh hold on oh, fuck. that was a proper opportunity to promote my soap now my business has Sorry, I've been drinking soda. I don't even know why I sound like that. But yes, my business has soap now. And I know what you're thinking. Girl, when did you learn how to make soap? I've been learning behind the scenes. Like I told you, I was coming out with something big. And this is that. Now I'm coming out with something big again today. <laughs> if you guys would like to purchase any of the soaps I make in my YouTube videos or my TikTok videos, they will be on my shop. All you have to do is search up soap in the search bar. I don't know why people be forgetting like... Small businesses, we have a search bar too. Like y'all can search stuff up in our site and see if we sell it. Cause you know, sometimes we may have like 600 products. How rude of me. I forgot to introduce myself. If a witch and a fairy had a baby, that's me. Today we're going to be making two soaps, okay? The first one is going to be black tourmaline beetle juice soap. So this, sorry, I'm super, super excited guys. So this first soap that I'm going to be making has crystals in it but not inside of the soap it just has crystals on the side and i have a super cool idea that i'm going to execute oh my idea for the first soap i want to do like uh like layers like white and black white and black and then i want to pump green icing at the top of it put the black tourmaline crystals in it and drizzle either white icing or black icing i don't know yet because i feel like if i do black icing it might make that crystal like not really stand out but we'll see for me to like just begin, you know, making soap and just diving into this whole industry and all of this, you know, all these skill sets, all these skills, all these skills you have to have, all these techniques. So that's a pretty tricky thing we're going to do today. I was kind of procrastinating because I was like, do do I want to mess it up? What if I don't get it right? What if I waste product? And I said, you know what? Whatever. I'm just going to do it. And if it turns out cool, it turns out cool. If I mess up, I'm just going to keep doing it again and again until I get it right. Now, the next soap is a bit more simple. It's actually a lot more simple. So we're going to be doing a pumpkin spice soap for Halloween. I wanna do, I don't know. I wanna do, I know I wanna do like orange colors and fall colors. I wanna have some type of mixture at the bottom of it. And then I wanna pump in some orange icing. And then at the top, I wanna have a couple of like subtle herbs, you know, and it's gonna smell like pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice. Whoa. so let's get into the video the first soap I made was actually pretty easy I made this soap before as you guys know I have really really bad eczema and I usually wash up with regular dove like I just you know experiment with the scents but I never really go outside of dove dove just tends to be my soap it started with I couldn't use like like any name brand soaps I had to use I forgot what it was called I forgot what it was called but I had to use like some um, herbal soap and then I my skin started to get a little thicker with the eczema to where I could take dove sensitive skin and then once I got older I guess it just got better and I just kept experimenting with the fragrances and I was like you know what most of these soaps cause cancer so I want to make something that's a bit more herbal and that's just more natural to the system so the ingredients in my soap that we're going to be using today is coconut oil almond oil olive oil palm oil shea butter lye and titanium dye i think it's dioxide hold on i don't want to get that wrong yes okay i got it right okay so basically lye is what forms the chemical reaction between the oils and the actual soap solution lye becomes a soap solution it joins it making a bar of soap so once you figure that out and get your recipe right with the percentages and the fragrances you can just go crazy with it you can experiment with it now how i pipe my icing it's different like thicknesses you have to stir the lye sometimes lye can get very very solid and it won't be able to move like you'll just waste all that product so i, I recommend you guys doing a lot of research before you form your own recipe or ask someone who was experienced because i couldn't really ask anybody who was experienced because no one was like really open with their recipes like that so this just has lye in it this does not have titanium you know hydroxide but it also does have all those other oils 
So since you are making soap and not candles, you can put more oils, but being that I have sensitive skin, most of my bars are going to be lightly scented. It'll smell good, but it won't just infuse you in the bathroom, like, because you know, that stuff will burn my skin. So it's it smells good, but it's like to an extent. It's like, all right, now it doesn't drag it. It doesn't drag it to where it's like chemically smell good. So this next soap bar includes titanium dioxide. Lye in the oils create the soaping bond, and this titanium dioxide here creates that white color. So you can mix it and match it with different colors, and it'll make your colors brighter and more vibrant. You know when you paint and you mix white with the paint, whatever color it is, and it makes it brighter. That's what titanium dioxide is. So those are the two chemicals that, you know, you probably may not be um, familiar with. So they can sound pretty scary, but it's not that scary. You do have to wear protection when you are dealing with them. But, hold on, my frog's on his bullshit. Okay, you do have to wear gloves and you do have to wear protection, but those are the only two chemicals that are in my soap. It's nothing that you guys don't know about, no hidden ingredients, anything like that. I'm very open with my ingredients because it's like, let's all have fun here. Like, let's, we need more handmade soaps in the world. We really do, because this shit is fun. This shit is fun. But I messed up. I didn't label my pans to where I could see where each bar of soap was now given the fact that we are going to be making a bar of soap with crystals I need to label where I'm going to be cutting because if I put a crystal where I cut it messes up that whole bar of soap I would have to pull the crystal out I can't use the soap it looks funny we're not doing that um and I think I got I think I got I think I'm two crystal shorts but two will have no crystal and I'll just keep them and I'll use them because I love my soap but I only got nine when I went to the crystal store um, but when you're making crystal soap, please do not use raw crystals. Some of those chemicals, some of those crystals cannot be wet. But when they are tumbled and shine, it's a much safer option to go with. So you can either pull your crystal out the soap or you can shower with it. And then, you know, when the soap goes down to where the crystal pops out, you can keep it. And you can keep it as like a, it's a free crystal in your soap, bro. And then we're gonna get started on our little concoction now I'm gonna do like a time-lapse of me making the soap and I'm just gonna hop in when I feel like I need to show you guys something but let's make this soap. I'm excited I'm excited I really am
all right guys not even going to hold y'all that was crazy like everything sped up so fast and I, I look crazy hold on everything sped up so fast i tried my best um i'm not really happy with what i did like you know i'm not really ever impressed with what i did but look at all this mess so i have to clean that up before i even start my next batch um i might end up doing my next batch tomorrow yeah i might end up doing it tomorrow because i need to sleep on some things what time is it let me see depending whether or not i'm gonna do it tomorrow i don't know where'd i put my phone yeah uh it's 724 so i'm gonna do my next batch tomorrow morning when i have some time to really think and figure out like where i went wrong so it smells amazing um one thing i can say is i wanted more vibrant colors so i should have added white and then added the color but i'm gonna do that tomorrow because i realized that when i add white and then add the color it makes the color way more vibrant um i actually really don't know what it's gonna look like in the middle like it's gonna be a complete mystery okay a complete mystery but let me go ahead and get the bar so i can show you our product we're, we're, it's not final product we're not done we still have to cut into it and all that stuff so okay guys so this is the bar i have to get it inside of the oven so that it dries at a pretty you know stagnant temperature so i started out with i believe white on the bottom and then black and then i did white again and then i did black no i'm sorry i got the backwards i started out with black on the bottom then I did white, then I did black again, and then I did white, and then I did a little bit of green. So I put some of, you know, I try not to make it too puffy like that frappe. I wanted it to be like hair. Y'all know his little like spiky hair. Um, where I feel like I messed up was the colors, but yeah, besides that, not oh my god, it smells amazing. It smells amazing. I don't want to be moving it around too much, but can y'all see? Like, it could be more vibrant, you know? Don't try to help my... Don't try to protect my feelings. It could be a bit more vibrant. I know. See, I'm stuttering. It's time to go to bed. I'm going to do all these dishes. Let me get this into the oven. Or should I push myself to make another one tonight? I think I should push myself so I have two to cut tomorrow. It'll be more rewarding, you know? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry at a good temperature and it smells amazing in here that's one thing i can't say it smells amazing but the hair is gonna look super cool because with those type of like piping um soaps you have to cut into it pretty early you can't wait till it gets too hard or it's not gonna be right so i'm gonna go ahead and clean these dishes up and then i'm gonna get back to you after we make our second soap so i'll see you guys then because i kind of want to um yeah i kind of want to see a two finishing products tomorrow so yeah <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,